Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can edit the ESP32CAM homepage. So this is the example code that I just copied from the original examples. And in today's tutorial, I will be focusing on how we can change the homepage. So I don't want to explain any technical details of all the spins. This is the web server page, but the actual HTML file is hidden in this code. So you switch to the camera index.h file and in my tutorial I used the 2640 camera so I, I'll be using only this code to change according to my needs. I just copy this one. I hope you notice that this is for 3660 camera mounted on ESP32 cam. If you have this one installed in your board please feel free to copy this code and do the same process. This is the tool which I'll be using for converting the hexa code to the HTML because right now we don't understand what this code is so now we will try to convert this code into a, a little understandable code into like HTML, JavaScript and a little bit of CSS and I'll leave a link to this code editor and it's absolutely free and it's available in the github so as soon as you open this code editor we'll be needing some blocks or some blocks of code that we'll be using for converting the hexa code to HTML so the first one is find and replace and we want to replace the delimiter comma and then we will be using a remove white space block and in this we don't want all of this we just need spaces and line feeds and finally we have a block call from hexadecimal code and we have to select the delimiter as 0x and the last code for checking converting the hexa code to the HTML we'll be using gunzip alright so now you just copy this code and paste it in this one as soon as you paste it here you get the code converted into HTML so let's see how this code looks in in a browser so for that we'll need to copy this code into a, some HTML file and run it locally let's say I keep this as copy file dot HTML and I paste the code that I just copied from this one you can just click here to copy the code and paste it right here and because I'm using a bracket it has a inbuilt live preview so I just click on live preview and yeah this is exactly how my ESP32 cam home base looks like but this is not running in a local host in an ESP board so it won't run anything alright so now this is a cool part now we want to change this and make it look a little bit nicer so for this I'll be using a framework called bootstrap and from here I copy the CSS library and I just paste it in the header and I also need some JavaScript because we'll be using some JavaScript code in the upcoming tutorial so I'll be just copying the code and pasting it in before the end of the body all right great so now we didn't change anything in the front end so nothing changed and in this tutorial I don't want to use all of these settings and I don't want to delete the source code so what I'm going to do is just hide the fields that I don't use so for hiding the fields push have, have a, a pretty easy classics 
to hide anything you want in, in the DOM. For example, I want to remove or hide this one. All I have to do is just add the class display none. And if you go here, we don't have a quality field right here. It will make more sense if I can just make this in parallel. Alright, so let me remove this one. Great. So I don't want this video to be too long. So I'll just add this one in all the fields that I don't use. The display none class to all the fields that I don't use in this project. The only reason for adding this class instead of deleting all the code is I don't want to make this code complicated so I just want to add a class and get my work done. I don't want this tutorial to be too long so I kept a small target for my sessions to be under 6 minutes. So for that reason I have to end this tutorial at this point and I'll continue the remaining part of this code or remaining part of this tutorial in the next tutorial video.